you can draw this entire illustration in just first step and today i'm happy how this turns out and it feels so realistic so let's get started with the resolution here 2860 into 2080 which is a landscape illustration and we are going to start off with painting the sky to paint the sky i'm adding a ton of color starting from orange yellow pink light blue dark blue and all those shade and we are using coarse watercolor brush and once we are done adding we are going to use hair brush from artist column and we are going to blend it across of course we can use our most easy brush which is blending or wash brush but i thought i will add some kind of action to the sky so kind of i started using the tough brush here because blending in hair brush it's not easy it requires your patience and it does test your patience and over a period of time you want to give up but here for me these are all in 4x page so make sure to use your sweet time and i'm just blending from top to bottom bringing all the color from dark to light and then smudging it around and making it look like a element which is going to pop out in the end of the video and i'm just trying to drag and draw drag and smudge around as much as i can once we are done i'm going to add a new layer for that cloud layer and we are going to use tattoo inker to add those little bit of cloud here and there and also here i'm using lighter shade of yellow orange and some kind of beach color here so that we have some kind of sky some kind of cloud in the sky then after breaking my hand using hair brush i'm going to be very nice and just use blending brush to blend this cloud and then once we are done i'm going to merge both the layer so we are moving on to our second step that is to paint the runway to paint the runway you can actually use the symmetry option but here i just thought i'll use the free hand to just uh, list it around because i'm using tattoo inker here to add rough sketches of a mountain at its distance and few line of the runway way in a diagonal way and then a horizontal and i'm just going to fill the layer once done i'm going to use the wash brush to slowly blend the color across the edges because we don't want any rough edges here because our show topper is definitely the aircraft but here i'm just going to blend it across with the help of a wash brush make sure to use your sweet time again these are all in 4x speed I've, of course this entire illustration took me around half an hour from start to finish maybe it may be a little longer for you you and if you're a pro you can do it more easier than expected so once i'm done blending i'm just going to add few more hint in the runway like the shadow like the depth and the so and for that we are going to use flow airbrush and we are going to use a multiple color here so starting off with adding the depth i'm going to use the darker shade of black to actually add to the base and then i'm going to add a new layer beneath the black layer and then I'm going to add a little lighter shadow here to look as though the sun ray is falling upon and then we have a shadow in our runway. Once then I'm going to add few more hint of the runway itself like adding a few more track records and then some kind of track line and then followed up by few other lines. I think it's best to use the symmetry option to draw the runway because either way both of the side look similar and then it can save you a ton of time that's why we are using digital illustration but anyhow I had fun drawing two separate sides the left and the right and I'm happy how this turned out and we are going to use glow neon pen to add those light in the runway and we are almost done and now we are hopping on to the most easy step of this entire illustration that is to paint the sun they call it easy sun all you have to use is to use a glow brush and then you have to select the highest size of it and dab it three times once you get the exact color what you are looking for you are then going to use a sparkle brush to actually add those sun rays out of the sun I'm happy how this look then I felt like that yellow is little too yellowish and then I want a little lighter yellow or orange so I just picked a lighter shade and then I just dab it around and here I'm happy how this has come out once that is done I'm just going to reduce the size of it place it in between the mountain point and then I want it to be not taking away the highlight spot but just making sure there is a sun ray and also the flight is taking off from the run and now I'm just adding the sparkle across and you can see you can make sure you use the lighter color and then dab it across the sun so that it look like the sun rays is coming out. Now we are hopping on to the main show topper which is to draw an airplane. For airplane I'm not going to waste anybody's time so I'm going to use the help of 
symmetry option and also I'm using fountain pen here and this look like Iron Man or someone's helmet here and also I realized I should use draw style line option to draw those straight lines and then we are drawing some straight lines for the wing and for here we are just drawing some diagonal lines once done I'm going to fill the layer and then I'm going to fill the cockpit layer as well and then now we are head off to the wing for wing which is very simple you just have to draw a straight line and then you have to add those wheels and some lights and some tip of the wing i feel that this is in a takeoff mode and if you think this is going to land let me know in the comment you think is it a takeoff or is it a landing i'm confused anyway it's all a part of illustration where we confused each of us once i'm done adding those wheels once i'm done adding those extra bit of the aircraft i'm just going to use blending brush to actually bring the entire aircraft into realistic looking this way the entire illustration changes and i'm going to slowly blend it across from the cockpit all the way to the wing from the tip and then we will be going to the wheel so make sure you follow the exact size flow and strength of the brush to get exact result of what you are currently looking in the illustration and also these are all in 4x speed make sure to use your sweet time don't be in hurry and let me tag in your instagram handle so that i can see how well you have illustrated and i'll be happy to share in my story and also in my newsletter oh yeah today is saturday and i have actually published our weekly newsletter from my inbox to yours where i share about a weekly motivation what i have done in this week so far and what is the reason behind certain illustration what is my favorite podcast or the book i'm currently reading in if you're happy you can definitely subscribe to it and make sure to leave the link in the iq card and also in the description now i feel like we have some more time left to do the rest of the aircraft once i am done we will be hopping on to adding some highlights in the sky to add the highlight, I'm just going to use flow airbrush and select a darker shade and then I'm just going to, yeah, add those shadows in the sky because I felt like the sky is a little bit pale and I want the aircraft to actually pop out from the rest of the image. So once I'm done adding the shadow, I'm going to use the help of glow neon to add the light at the tip of the wing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration so far. And if you have enjoyed the entire illustration, thank you so much. If you are my existing subscriber, thank you for your support. If you are new here, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also share it along with your aircraft enthusiast or somebody who is currently who just love aircraft. I don't know. I've been used to watch a lot of aircraft video and then I stopped for a a bit long period and now i was just scrolling through instagram and then i got this and i'm like oh i should actually illustrate this so see you all tomorrow till then have a great life enjoy your life and have a great weekend bye bye